you only have a few minutes. New Year's Day, everyone's out. It's a beautiful day here in California. Spring. So, what are you guys gonna do to improve yourself for 2020? There's so many things we can do. We talked about some of them in the last video about consumption of plastic. The reason we don't consume plastic is because the humans throw it in the streets and off, out of the windows and the animals eat it. All of them eat it. Some, like these ravens, they can eat all the plastic they want. It doesn't seem to bother them at all. What about improving our footprint of meat consumption here in the U.S., for example? In 2004, meat production in the U.S. was 85.1 billion pounds per year. Then, in 2019, our consumption of meat in the U.S. has gone down. The production of meat has gone up to 103.3 billion pounds in 2019. But our consumption of meat is down 1.1% in the U.S. Are we beginning to get it? You know, as I was studying the meat thing, I was uh, so amazed at how gross they are. They talk about the boiler this and the visceral that and the skimming of this, and just gross stuff. It makes you want a quazilla. It really is gross. So for the animal's sake, for the planet's sake, why not? lower the consumption of your meat. That's any kind of meat, including fish. And you have to remember, guys, that when you stop consuming meat or lower your consumption, you're not just helping yourself, you're helping every living thing on the planet. The production of meat is either third or second highest environmental degradation on this planet you can do. Cut down forest, making grasslands for a few years of cattle, and then it just sits there, kind of eroding away into canyons. Hello. Happy New Year. Yeah, you too. So even the smallest microbes will thank you for your consumption of meat decrease. Let's keep the U.S. one of the nations that's decreasing its meat conduct consumption. That's good news. Mark J. couldn't agree with you more. Right on about the whole meat thing. Couldn't agree more. Someday when I get an actual studio set up, I think uh, I've got so many people I would like to interview, but Mark J. has to be one of the top ones. I really would love to talk with him on video. He's one of those that gets it. as a lot of you know I've been trying to get on a vegan a vegan diet completely I'm pretty much there really the it wasn't going vegan that was so difficult it was the lowering of the consumption of the sweets the chocolate that comes in wrappers and that kind of thing you have to reduce that too but it's a slow process I have I haven't eaten meat since the uh, about 1991, something like that. And I never did eat much of it because I couldn't stand it. It grossed me out. And the thought of what was happening in these slaughter yards and all. The consumption of meat. One meal a week less meat than two meals a week less meat. On, on and on until you become a vegan or close to it. Let me tell you, a vegan diet takes a while. You feel kind of hungry for a while, and then your stomach adjusts. And all of a sudden you're full of energy, your joints aren't hurting as much anymore, and you're just feeling better. One other thing I did was I went on a strict anti-cancer diet, which meant turmeric, black powder, 
black powder, black pepper, combination with other fruits and vegetables, lots of vegetables, grains, whole grains, nothing out of a box. I buy it in bulk. Take my bags, my, my recyclable carrying bags and my compostable small uh, bags for putting fruit and vegetables in. Makes a difference, people. You will feel it. You will be the one that feels it more than anybody else. But the entire planet will thank you for it. I'm sort of looking for mushrooms and things. They should be coming out any time now. The nice ones, the ones that are very photogenic. Let's go up this way. Lots of homeless encampments today. A lot more than it used to be up here. It's amazing. We must change our ways by voting new people in that are progressive. Going to be a vegan or vegetarian knows the environmental situation of the planet. And for God's sake, isn't a golfer.